Don't remember anything that happened. Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. Finally, I'm free. Almost. Victoria, wake up. Wake up! Oh shit! Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too? This is so bad! looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! My shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room, 
is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No, no. no. <laughs> Now, don't move, or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. 
<laughs> I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated, like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune, who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did you know she also had a connection with Frank? Let's be honest. She was doing the classic bad boy thing. She was over Frank before it began. He just didn't know, anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears, Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good, because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe, and Rachel, and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. 
I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Sorry. Oh, I have all those photos in my diary. This, this could be a this way out. Be personified. Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <coughs> I'm not into capturing your interest. That's kind of sick, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I guess somebody hasn't had their coffee. Do you want to try again? Okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on. <laughs> uh, anyway, so the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artist. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, if you want to Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Don't confuse the... I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. 
and take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell. The, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Ah. Uh, well, thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I 
did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Let's see, 10 o'clock. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time <laughs> when we were innocent. beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. I can't wait to land in Frisco. Uh, nobody calls it Frisco. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. 
So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Bowser Max, you did it. Somehow, I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. I can definitely find out those details. The story, the photo, if you know how to- It's great to read all these comments. Even the mean ones. Details of picture. Oh, this is so interesting. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a do not understand art. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. I guess everybody is a photographer now. That is different. The retro vibe. Me too. Makes me want to go buy an instant camera. Damn, I bet that film costs a fortune. Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images, so I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. Chloe! Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your notes. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared! I'm, I'm by the beach! I'm Chloe! Stuck. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god! The tornado was real! Oh, I didn't fix shit! Chloe will die! Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed! There has to be a way to stop this! For good!
I guess everybody is a photographer now. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... You're Max Caulfield, right? Tell me what kind of instant camera you um, use. Yeah, can we talk later? Thanks. I literally do not have the time to deal with everybody. I need to hit this rewind or cancel. What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? My previous timeline was so perfect. I'll accept that I need to be in Arcadia Bay, not San Francisco. I just have to make one simple change, so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Oh, I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid! Okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh, as if you care. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He you burned know, my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa, did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There. 
Where's that fear? Oh, Max. It's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. This final dose won't hurt. What? for one last request. Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Uh, excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over! You are not going to stop me! David Madsen! Jefferson! Jefferson, it's over! You are not going to stop- Jefferson, it's over! You are not going to stop me! Max, are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. No signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. The Prescott's had to know about this. David? Are you okay? 
Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was going to kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and almost used it, but he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you, and Chloe, and your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while you had each other. We... we are a great team. That's one of my problems. I'm not good at teamwork. Never was. Even in the service. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. We kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but... Maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? David... Uh, Chloe is... is... dead. This isn't happening. You can't... No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I I saw her. I I saw a Jefferson Killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait!
Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. that photo you took last night in the parking lot. Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Whales Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. It's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, goddammit, how do I pay all those taxes for? You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say... I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. I'm sorry.
Alyssa needs help again. Once I get the hell out of here, I've been hauling loads for way too long in this shithole town. You better go now. And I ain't never coming back here. You need a lift? No thanks. I have to find a friend. You go, girl. You go. How can I get out of here? Ugh. This makes me so sad. Damn. I'm stuck here unless I put out this fire first.
dead. Electrocuted. Perry died before I could help him. It's too late now. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning has been issued for Arcadia Bay and surrounding counties. The emergency broadcast system is now in effect. Max. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. I know. There. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. So oh. glad everybody is safe here. But I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. 
You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa! Is that all? I, I think that the storm started... Everything started when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max, not only the storm, but the eclipse. The birds, the whales, everything. All because... because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did... did he hurt you? He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Dead. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's, there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. All this destruction is my fault. Give me a break. You sure the hell didn't give yourself time travel powers? I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. Now, I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And... I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Hey, be careful out there. I could use a hug before I do this. Me too. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. No time for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm 
glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, be Warren. Connected to Rachel. Chloe, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Chloe! I should never have run away from you like I did when we left Arcadia Bay. I know I hurt you. All I ever wanted was to make it up to you. Please don't run away from me. Max, I'm not running from you. This is when I need you the most. This is how to make everything up to me. With your power and my gun, nothing in the universe can stop us now, Max. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Chloe, I'm... I'm gonna tell you the truth, no matter what. I changed your past, and I... I, I had to make a terrible choice, and I... I... Max, please tell me. I won't be mad at you. I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to end your life. But Chloe... There was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and... As usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's... That's why you should come with me, so we can stay together. And stay alive. I hear you, Max, but... Do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us, and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, no matter how much of a douche he's been, David truly cares about you. <sighs> Please. Like he cared when he got in your face for smoking a joint? You should have seen his reaction when I told him that Jefferson killed you. He was crushed. Are you serious? I can't see him showing any feeling, except towards my mom. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, 
I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. the real Max is back. So how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And you traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. Then for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You, you remember, right? Well, we, we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Just stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! Chloe... I've got your back, Max. Whoa! Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm Nobody back in class. As he what the hell? Lives. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and our sorrow. Have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is messed the condition in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and there you go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? Wait, and for what's going on? Nobody even cares? Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense.
I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. My selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. I'm just a poser. Yes. You will be posing. For me. There's so many angles I want to expose you with to the world. I hope you don't mind needles or duct tape. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me, or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone, and that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. Rachel Amber. She was my angel. After my dad died and he moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life.
Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Good evening, Blackwell. This is Maybe I'll be safe in the lighthouse. And I'm Maybe I'll wake up. The Principal Wells. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Max. Good evening, Blackwell. Good evening, Blackwell. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells, and I'm here to... Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells, and I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells. Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play. It's to me forever and we'll go ape, ape, ape. Did that get you hot when you saw me fuck up Nathan? I did. Hey! Drive in and you'll be close to me forever and two bells. Did that get you hot when you saw me? The fuck squirrels up hate you. So I can feed you up. And they're hungry. Oh. Too bad you didn't become friends with the Tabanga. Stop right now! Max! Hey Max. 
town. Hey, Max. Please, come here. The squirrels hate So I can beat you up! And they're hungry. Come on, Max. Just admit that you're jealous of my search. Over and over admit it! You can't escape my surveillance, hey, Missy. You can get me expelled, but you can't escape. Get your boat. Fucking beans! Now that Chloe is dead, you won't be distracted. Max, you are at the top of my shit list now, Max. She gave great head. Come on down. Oh no. Bottles. This might be hell. Oh man, you should have heard Chloe smack talk you. It was brutal. But of course, I see what she's talking about now. Max! Psst. Max. Me? It was brutal. Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am, when your mom's away. I'll let her know that. Hello? Hey honey, just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Winds. What? Had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to You are feast ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! How long will this nightmare go on? I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. She's sure the hell not into me at all. Who cares? I guess we're not her type. <laughs> like Max has a fucking type. But she does. She's in the Mr. Jefferson. Now come here. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. 
Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh shit, look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive? Life is so not fair. I wish you would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Great. Numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? Why doesn't the mirror reflect any of the numbers? Don't kill us, Max! I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California. I was happy just being your friend. Honey, I always Break her, break her. Why do you want Thanks for saving me. My husband and new baby. Don't let this die, We'll have to go without me. That's a big 10-4. Who... Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you give a rat's ass. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? <laughs> you were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends. And I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? We all are. This isn't about Chloe. Or even me anymore. Gosh, you're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she's our friend? That she respects us in any way. 
Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy. Oh, hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let this song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? Or a storm is coming? Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Welcome to American Rust. My home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I might get on the other side of that. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Ra Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with your hair so- Photobomb! Photo hog. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I know, just daydreaming. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. Not until I see it first! You know the rules, Dad! Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you- It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we- Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should- Chloe, you're back. I'm just- I'm just, I'm so glad Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Chloe, you're back. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. 
You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Rachel! Oh, Rachel, no, no, please not her! Chloe. <laughs> Rachel, why? I'm sorry, Chloe. Come on, Max, Come we're on, almost, Max. There. almost there. Please, wake please. up, wake up. Passed out. Oh, Sorry. thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. The only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You. You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to. to. fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My step... Father deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once... I think I should accept my fate. Our fate. Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can.
It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho!